Welcome to City on the Hill Game, a tabletop RPG podcast. All right, well, good luck, everybody. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, at the very least, the two of us in guard uniforms can ride up front. Uh, and he, he uh, gives you two horses that you guys can ride on in front of the in front of the wagon. So it's about not quite dusk. And you guys are kind of you guys have moved to the position uh Ujo found on the map. This kind of a grove that's maybe ten or fifteen minutes outside of Oreal. Uh perception checks. Everyone. Everyone. Oh nice, Weasel. Dude, what is we one? <laughs> So many ones. Um, oh, I don't even see myself. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, this isn't this isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, Daniel's got a twenty-one. Good. William's got a fourteen. Ben and Jenna have a four and a six. And Jonathan's got a twelve. Okay, all right. This is this is workable. <laughs> wow. So you guys see the city of Oriel in the distance. Siege is a understatement for what's happening. Um. There's an encampment of uh, of men, and you recognize the banner, and it is definitely Baron Telix's banner. And they have there are battle rams, there are catapults, there are a, like probably at least one or two battalions of men. Um, and they have set up camp outside of Oriel with purpose. You see one of the catapults off to the side that. Um, Looks like it only has maybe two or three men around it. We can take the wagon and one of the campsites with only a few men around it and hide in the bushes far behind us, but just line of sight, use a cantrip to whisper a message to her if something goes wrong. Okay, now who's actually going to be hiding in the cart? I can. Or is, is, that, is that the plan you're going with? I'll, yeah. I, I'll take it. And now... Yeah, if you want to hide in the cart, that's fine. As long as I have someone that I can see and send a message to if we need. You can do that with Valia if you want to. Now, I have yeah. a question. Okay. So, you said these were uh, gunpowder, a.k.a. like dwarf liquor, explosive, whatever, one or the other. There's something that'll, if, yeah. If it's if it's a nice liquidy substance, you could tell the, the people, you know, hey, you know, we're just delivering. If you get questioned, if people see you. You could just kind of, you know, bluff them a little. Be like, we're just delivering some, uh, you know, some supplies for the victory later on. Yeah, it's an interesting option. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys two options. Either you guys can make stealth checks to hide in the carriage, or Jenna, you can make a stealth check with advantage to kind of use your innate sneaking abilities to kind of position people so that they are hidden. Ooh, I like that option. And just trail us. That All way, right. kind of blend people in with the barrels and tarps and stuff. Yes. Okay, make me a stealth check, and you have advantage, so roll twice, and we will take the better of the two. 26 is real good, so we'll take that one. <laughs> uh, Lisa, um, at one point, you glance back in, you just see like six barrels. That's all. There, you only brought three barrels, but you see six barrels. Yeah, no. <laughs> what, and uh, actually, one is turtle shape. Yes. Uh, and actually, as you glance back, <laughs> as you guys go to ride off, you can hear the the craftsman who built the carriage grumbling, and there's like a pile <laughs> of another carriage next to that one and it looks like jenna somehow convinced him to scrap a bunch of it so that she could put barrels around people <laughs> wow that's impressive it was a good <laughs> very good thought okay i love this surly craftsman this is fantastic he's not happy <laughs> he's doing his job but he's not happy about it not what he signed up for <laughs> all right so you guys kind of daniel yeah uh, you can approach this area with the catapult, and you see uh, there are three guards standing by. And so it's it's you and let me make sure, let me make sure I, uh, we're we're all on the same page here. You and William are on horseback, wearing the uniforms, and everybody else is in the carriage. And you're in communication with Velia using message. 
Uh, yeah, the the message is just for emergencies. I'll call for backup. But okay. All right, I like it. I just need to have line of sight. Gotcha. Or actually just be able to know in general where they're at, and I can do it. Okay. How would you like to proceed? Uh, it's a good thing I finally put points into perception, or uh, persuasion, because it's time to use it. Uh, we're going to ride up to the guards. Okay. And I'm going to say, Hail, uh, we have uh, supplies we're bringing in. One of them kind of looks at you funny. Is he... Um, what happened to your wagon? A long ride. Jeez, man. Where it... Okay. Um, yeah, there's been some raids out, or, you know, people defending their village or whatever, but wagon, we just had to, like, throw one together. Okay. Um, what, what are you bringing? Uh, you know, I don't know. They give me the orders to bring supplies, and I bring supplies. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, oh, are those for the catapult? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. Um, and you see a stack of other things that are to be, like, flung with the catapult? Uh, he's like, uh, yeah, just, just put it over there. That works. Yeah, we'll just stack them up. We got one barrel that's uh, supposed to go out uh, to one of the rams. Oh, okay, so just a couple of those are ours? That's fine. Yeah, just just put whatever. That's that's cool. Go for it. So we're going to drop off the gunpowder by the catapults. Okay. The barrel with the oil somewhere near the ram. Okay. And for it to have an accident sure. using the ram. Right. To make it slippery where they can't use the ram. Gotcha. Okay, so you, you see up near the, the south gate, uh, you see that the gate has actually been knocked off its hinges by the ram. Fantastic. And um, there are kind of, there are a handful of men around it. You can tell it's kind of, you know, obviously it's getting towards the evening. They are kind of preparing to settle back in for the night. But you think they probably have actually broken through into the city already. Well, so are they paying attention to what's happening? Um, a, a few of them look like they're actually just setting up camp outside, like they're there to guard the the gate now that they've opened it. And yeah. they are, um, kind of settling into their defense. So, um, and, and if any of the five of you want to do anything, just let me know. Yeah. You guys are kind of hunkered down right now, but if you have anything, go with it. So you got a barrel of oil. Okay. Already broken in. Yes. Uh, you might be able to do something to draw them back out of the city. Yeah, would involve the barrel, I don't know, getting away from the carriage and rolling down the road and breaking open and spilling oil all over the road. And then it mysteriously getting lit on fire for some reason. Possibly, perhaps. Sure. That's a thing you could probably make happen. Why don't why don't we arrange for that to happen? Okay, uh, Grio, make me mm-hmm. an athletics check to accidentally shove the barrel in the direction he's talking about. And make <laughs> sure ropes. you say make sure you say "oops" when you push it. Oops! Oops! <laughs> oh! Oh no! I leaned on it wrong. Oh shucks! <laughs> the, uh, our wagon's a little rickety. I think something busted loose. Oh! Oh! Look out! It's oh no. D- danger. <laughs> okay, so basically this danger barrel Will Robinson. This barrel just kind of falls out of the carriage and rolls towards the battle ram. And uh you see a couple of the guards rush towards it to stop it, and then it kind of just it rolls to a stop right next to the battle ram. And yeah, listen, it's it's everybody... just oil, it's not dangerous, just watch your footing. Everybody, you know, breathes a sigh of relief and Ben, if you want to light something on fire, now would be a good time to do it. Yeah, uh, I will. If we're in range, I'll go ahead and light like the edge of the barrel or just under the ram where the barrel heat. The trail of oil. Like as we're riding yeah. away, you get like just in range and light the trail and then we just keep going. Yep. Totally fine. Like a beam of light shooting out of the back of the carriage so they don't have nope. to aim from us. It just instantaneously lights. Yes. Okay, so, um, and are you doing anything with the ones you put next to the catapult? Why don't we do those <laughs> a little further, a little bit distance, so we can, like, 
strike simultaneously in the chaos <laughs> instead of being in the middle of it. Okay. Um, so as you guys are in the, uh, so you guys are in the wagon and the, you guys are kind of moving away from the catapult and you've dropped the barrel off. So there's maybe, I don't know, three or four guards around there. Uh, okay. So Ben, you kind of, so, so how, how do you, how do you want to use your elemental attunement? So I can just, uh, at, at range, I can just, uh, instantly light, uh, the flame. Um, so I'll just light the, the side of the barrel, um, Okay. And I don't believe it's a, it's a visible, like, from me to it. I think it just kind of happens. Okay, okay, gotcha. So it's not it's not like a... It's not uh, Firebolt or anything like that. It just lights up. Fantastic. Okay, so you guys see Ben just kind of make a, a motion, and then the, <laughs> the, the barrel just kind of explodes... It, it starts to, like, very slowly catch fire on the outside and just kind of the wood, and then the fire comes in contact with the oil, and boom. Um, and so now the ram is on fire, and the guards are freaking out, and you hear a commotion coming from inside the city walls. Men are starting to, to rush out and try and put the fire out. And you see a man walk out of the gate, um, and he kind of walks past the burning ram, almost like he doesn't notice it. And you can tell he's... He's looking around with intent. Ooh. Well, not enough intent. Um, he has that look on his face of, things like this don't happen by accident. Um, and you oh don't... no, what a terrible accident! Oh no, it's an accident. <laughs> Uh, and you don't think he necessarily suspects you guys in the wagon, but you think he suspects something's not kosher here. What As would you guys like to do? <laughs> so you've got that barrel next to the the batter, battle ram. You've got the barrel next to the... Oh no. Um, catapult. And you have started a fire and you've garnered yourself some attention. All right, so now is when I will send a message. And be prepared to charge. Uh, and you get back. We we are ready. Excellent. Um, then I put a firebolt on the uh, gunpowder. Uh, next to the catapult. Excellent. It goes kablooey. It's a good signal. Um, it will know where that came from because it is literally a streak of fire coming from my fingers. And you see the man who was looking <laughs> around look straight at you. Wave um, happily. I was tempted to say he waves back, but that probably wouldn't have made a lot of sense. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> you see men start to pour out of the gates. You know, they, they are responding to put out the fires. They are mm -hmm. ready. And just about the time they start pouring out the gates and take notice of you guys, the elves pour out of the trees. Yeah. And the music hits, and the epic battle begins. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to stand on top of my horse... Hold the power of the lizard wizard! <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you kind of confused, and then he's just like, oh, okay. Um, and then he calls together a group of men, um, some of the ones that were standing near the ram, and uh, they form up around him, and I need you guys to make initiative checks. Chip is a great mascot. He's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All HGTV references aside, I think this is going to turn out well. Yeah, I only rolled a six, so I'm oh, busy man. carefully getting wow. off from standing on the saddle to like get back. Just to real carefully got, like step I, down, just just like gently lower myself. I, I got stuck in the barrel. <laughs> Your shell. <laughs> yeah, you, you try and bust out of your fake barrel shell, but they nailed it shut by accident. 
<laughs> just legs <laughs> pop out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes oh, on the like half Like the, the one egg from uh, Garfield cartoon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember that. <laughs> okay, so you guys have made an initiative initiative checks. All right, I will also make initiative checks for them. Woo! That was real bad. That was pretty okay. <laughs> that wasn't great. Okay, give me just a second. I will record the initiative order. And I'm going to assume you guys kind of, as this starts, hop out of the barrel, or hop out of the carriage and kind of get into position for for the fighting times. Um, okay, yes. so we haven't... Jonathan, how do you do that every time? <laughs> Your initiative it's is... The like, it's the beard. It's the beard. <laughs> Your initiative is always good. It's a skill. Apparently. Uh, and it is the, uh, the gentleman you kind of saw step out and look around... Who, who looks to have some some command of what's going on in the area. You see him just kind of stretch and ready himself. And he starts barking orders to his men. You see, you know, archers get to the ready. You see these guards form up around him. And he draws... Um, he draws a longsword off of his back and just kind of gives you the motion to bring it on. And so he's gonna he's gonna kind of ready in action, but he is not going to t attack yet. Uh, Jonathan, it is your turn. Awesome. What would Biggs do, sir? I'm just gonna mace to the face. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna go straight at him. That misses. No. What? So you you close up to the captain, and you you swing that warhammer, and he just kind of he uses his the longsword to just kind of push it away. You gotta be joking, man. <laughs> and then he's going to try and hit you. 14 is not his best. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it doesn't hit you. It doesn't. Uh, so I'm actually going to switch you guys' places. He's now going to go after you. In uh, Jenna, it is your turn. Awesome. Um, am I um, trying to find some place I can be sneaky at? Hmm. Uh, you could get back into the carriage. Let's try that. And you can use your... um. Class feature I don't remember the name of that allows you to make a hide check as a bonus action. Oh, that's right. That's right. Bonus, I just know it as the bonus action to hide. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take my bonus action to hide. I'm going to shoot out with my short bow. Okay, and uh, who are you shooting with your short bow? Ooh, I'm going to take this guy with the swagger who thinks he can bring it on. That guy. Okay. I'm going to take him. Uh, you do hit him. Excellent. So roll your regular damage and your sneak attack. Bam. Okay. Now, oh, that was a nice roll. And then William, it is your turn. All right. Um, I'm just gonna move right here and go for the guy on the far left. Okay. I'm gonna throw the mech to sun. Okay. Um, so I know that's special when it throws. Yes, you get plus one to your attack. Okay, I'll try that. Not quite. Uh, okay, so the two archers will take aim. Uh, William, you made a new friend. <laughs> uh, How would he know? I missed. Could have been aiming for the other guy. <laughs> nah. Uh, and Ujo, one of them is going to try and shoot at you. Does 17 hit your AC? No. Nah. Uh, 17 does not. Okay. Uh, William, you take six damage. Is that, uh, he shot an arrow at me? Yes. Ooh, you want to do uh, a thing? I would like to use my reaction. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try to catch the, uh, the arrow. Deflect missile. Yes. <laughs> yeah, deflect missile. I know what class he is. Because there's <laughs> only one that gets to do that. Uh, so that's a 1d10. <laughs> plus your dex modifier, plus your level. Okay, so that's the roll. Oh god, no. Um, <laughs> uh, plus dex. Yes. So five. Uh, so fourteen. Um, uh, that is more than he rolled. I think it's actually based on how much damage it would do, and it missed you. Oh yeah, yeah. And it missed. Yeah. So yeah. Never mind then. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't that familiar with that. So that only is. 
That's only, only if it actually damage hits you. being done. Okay. Yep. And then if you roll higher than the total damage, you can catch the arrow and throw it back. Yeah, I, I catch <laughs> it. Yeah. That's super If it's cool. reduced to zero, I can throw it back. Yep. That's super cool. I like that a lot. All right, Daniel. <laughs> All right, well. For my amusement, the archers may just shoot at you from now on. <laughs> That's a terrible strategy, but I kind of want to see it happen. <laughs> I don't know if they'll get the chance. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> if I put my fireball in just the right place, I can hit everybody. <laughs> of course. On spot. <laughs> also, I remembered that my stave that I have, once yes. a day, I can make someone automatically fail the save. Ooh. That is an ability of uh, the Magi Van Talon, your large staff that you carry. Uh, that is so the to, captain is up to three targets automatically fail a saving throw when rolling against you. Great. So who would your three targets be, sir? To go with the captain and two of the soldiers, not the archers, because I also want to see this happen. Okay, uh, and they're making reflex save, I assume. Dex save, yeah. Okay, dex save and... C is 15 with the uh, stave bonus. Okay, so one archer makes it, one doesn't. And one guard does not. So the only person... So roll your damage and one archer will not take full damage. Okay. And then everyone else will. (laughs) <laughs> fantastic i like it this is what i wish i <laughs> the one thing about this is being able to listen to all of the dice shake at one time and then okay <laughs> whoa <laughs> How many do you get for that <laughs> wow <Eight. laughs> uh, okay ben because we haven't had enough fireballs <laughs> back um and two that's like average-ish Oh, yeah, no, that wasn't even that big a damage. Yeah, wow. Okay. Um, so this one, okay, so that was 32 total. Uh-huh. Uh, so the one archer will take half of that, because he did make his save. Uh, the other archer will fall over. <laughs> um, all three of the uh, the guards look terrible, and the captain falls over. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That was deeply <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> wow. Not for us. Fireball. Okay. Um, so it's the three guards. Immensely satisfying. Turn. <laughs> Turn's a strong word. Um, Hubble. So they're just going to all three charge bigs. Oh, oh come on. Because <laughs> uh, they don't. They're all real not happy. They're jealous of my Warhammer. <laughs> they are jealous. They're very jealous of your Warhammer. They're also jealous that you aren't currently on fire. There is that. <laughs> uh, only, only one of them hits you. Uh, you take seven damage, Mr. Magic Beard. Hey. That works. All right. And Ben, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, let's what will do... Ujo do? Well, let's jump up here. Okay. And. Actually, let's go one more, sorry, one more over. And let's just un, unarm strike the uh, first guy. Okay. This closest one here. That works. I think that works. 23? 23 totally works. Uh, and 6 damage also yep. works. 6 slashing, <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, it is your turn. All righty. Uh, whichever one hit me, that's the one I'm going after. Done. <laughs> Mace him right in the face. Oh, I'm going to do it. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> it was almost a natural 20. <laughs> All right. Because because Biggs is so enraged about being attacked, I'm going to let you roll with advantage. Roll one more time. <laughs> Give him my inspiration, and he gets to roll again. Yes. Absolutely. Hey! Roll that beautiful damage. 
as you Warhammer mace him straight in the face. Check. <laughs> Checkmate. Bam. All right. Um, and Jenna, it is your turn. Well, I'm going to take my, my cunning action because that's every turn, and I'm going to hide myself. Okay. And I'm going to shoot people with my bow. Do you, um, do you do that thing. All right. Mm. That misses. That I is an get... eight, and that is not enough. William. Uh, it is Griot's turn. Uh, okay. Um, not sure. I think I can... Oh, there it is. Yeah. I'm just going to move... I'm going to grab my mech to son. Okay. <laughs> and then hit the archer. I don't know if it'll reach that far, so I may have to throw it, but... Uh, it will not reach that far, so if you want to hit him, you will have to throw it. Okay. I'll just do that then, because I've got a button for it. That absolutely right. hits. Roll your so, damage. Seven. That, that makes me so happy. <laughs> that leaves him with just enough hit points to still shoot Ujo one more time. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Sorry. Bring it on. <laughs> he was. You, you did seven. He was at eight. Oh. And it's his you turn. You reminded me. Knock the other guy out. Oh no! It, it's to fine. Back to e- back. E- either one's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see if I can hit Ben. No. You can always throw the Magnus on at me for fun. <laughs> <laughs> he, he picks up the spear and chucks it back. <laughs> You catch the spear and deflect it back at him. Okay. Um, he, he tries to shoot you again. He misses. Uh, Daniel, it's your turn. There is a guard and an archer left. Um, your, your fireball kind of dealt with the rest of it. Sure did. Um, let's do the same but smaller. I'm going to firebolt the swordsman. Okay. The swordsman, that does not hit. It's hard to see. There's so much fire everywhere. There is. <laughs> um, it is his turn. He will try and hit Biggs again. Or actually, he's going to hit Griot now. Yay! <laughs> that, that does not hit at all. No. And Ben, it is your turn, sir. Oh, okay. I'll take a step forward and unfurling the meteor whip, take a swipe. And I don't think... No, you miss. That 11 did not hit. That did not hit. Um, he may get a second arrow. I'm excited. Jonathan, your turn. <laughs> hey, hey. Hope still lives. <clears throat> All righty. Let's do it again. Mace to the face. It, it's an old favorite. I like it. Hey, you know, when it works, it works. That's right. It does not work. No. When it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That is okay. <laughs> um, Jenna. All right, let's hide and uh, see if we can put some holes in them this time. Mm. Yes, absolutely. 24 definitely hits the guard. Bam and bam. Yes. That guard is gone. William, your turn. Can I, let's see. I think I've got second wind would that count as my action that would be a bonus action so you would still get your okay. regular that's action. what i that's what i thought i guess just so we can see the arrow i'm just gonna run away okay are you gonna use your second wind uh no you can save it if you want to you can use it a bonus action later yeah i use it later okay um it's the archer's turn <laughs> does 18 18 still doesn't hit you <laughs> 18 does not hit your me. Your AC is really high. <laughs> I keep forgetting your AC is really high. I probably shouldn't have hoped for that so much. Daniel, your turn. <laughs> All right. Well, I tried to be nice. But we're just going to try it. We're just going to firebolt him, too. We can always shoot more arrows at him later. It's fine. DiMaggio. Park. All the DiMaggio. No more archer. The ballpark. Yes. You, you guys got him. Okay, so... You guys are outside the city gates. Uh, as you guys look around, you see the elves have kind of engaged with the the the, the guards from Lyran. And it's not super even. It looks like the elves are, are kind of gaining the upper hand in some places. But in some places, the, the guards are kind of holding their own. They fight with kind of a fervor you wouldn't expect. 
from regular soldiers. Um, perception checks. Natural 20. Now, this is the fourth one I have rolled this game? Okay. Give me all of your good rolls. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have a 21, a 24. Oh, yeah, okay, you, you guys more or less see all of it. All right, and would you actually, you don't really, so you see the battles going around you. Uh, you see a bunch of the guys from the Driven show up and kind of start helping push the, the men back. Daniel, you and Biggs, uh, Lisa and Biggs, you guys hear something. You hear a woman scream. Uh, and it's a voice you recognize. It sounds like the Duchess. Huh. And uh, you actually, uh, Grigio, you hear that as well. Daniel and, and Jonathan, you not only hear her scream, you also hear uh, the familiar sound of merfolk. Ooh. Inside the city. So you guys can you guys are outside the gates, but you do hear stuff going on inside and you think you hear the Duchess. Alright. Well, yell to Pentracor. Get your lizard, we're going inside. Right. I am right behind you. Uh, is there some kind of, of whistle you would like to do to call Chip forth? <laughs> I'm not like I um, well, Chip can climb the walls, right? Like he can stay up there for a little while in case I need him. Yeah, I've been I've been working with Chip and his kibble. He'll learn some tricks. So okay, I'll go he'll ahead and he'll, he'll perch himself up on one of the walls. Maybe you'd want to to ride Chip because I make sure that I'm doing this at the right spell level. Now, to be fair, yeah. the, the gate is open. You guys can just go through the front. Uh, Unless if, Jenna just wants to make a magnificent entrance. Oh, let's do the magnificent entrance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, entrance. If, if you can press the digitation, like, Chip, to look like the dragon that I know he is in his heart, like... That he would is be just amazing. a giant lizard, to be fair. <gasps> I know, but, it's like... not that far, lizard, yeah. Like, you just stretch it just a little. Like, maybe put some wings on and pretend, you know? Okay, Jenna, it's I'm going to need you to make an animal handling check. Okay. you have only had him for, like, a day and a half. Yes. And it's been <laughs> rocky so far. There have been lots of treats. And and you do you did buy him that sweet, sweet harness. So oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you roll nice. with a plus four bonus. <sighs> oh, that which you apparently don't need because you already did it. <laughs> <laughs> now... If you think it would be helpful. Chip loves me. Uh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't. I have one third level spell left. I can put haste on him. Nah, save it. Okay. All right, so Jenna, you you walk over. Chip kind of appears from out of the the trees, and you hop on, and he, he kind of nuzzles up, and he, he looks at you like he's a little bit ready to go. All right. I give him a All right. Treat. You think he Cat recognizes Cat. the sound of merfolk? Yes. Oh, and he does like fish. He loves fish. <laughs> <laughs> You're fishy, fishy, fishy. Urgent for some sturgeon. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. I'm not wow. sure about that one. Okay. We're going to move on. All right. Uh, okay, so you guys are at the entrance to the city. And you have heard... Just a good, he just needs a good vantage point. You know, a perch. That's all right. <laughs> fish joke. Right Solid. The fish puns are back. Yay. Um, yeah, I can use press the digitation to make him look very dragony. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to assume you guys all enter at the same time, but Jenna comes riding over the wall on Chip. Yes. Uh, yeah. Looking majestic and fierce. <laughs> okay, so giant what you guys see? Giant cat thing on a giant lizard thing. Yes. So what you guys see. Um, is so you guys have come in the front gate and there's kind of another gate a little deeper in and the gate is closed and kind of backed up to it you see duchess kaya um the leader of the town of oriel and two of her guards and the guards are are doing their best to kind of keep her protected but they're backed up against the gate and there are six merfolk bearing down on them uh and the merfolk see jenna majestically 
fly over the wall <laughs> on this thing that's not a dragon at all, but as far as they know, it probably is. Um, <laughs> and one of the merfolk just leaves. Yes. <laughs> Chip makes eye contact. He knows it's snack time, and this merfolk dude is just like, nope, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. That's not, not what I signed up for. He just... He just walks over here and just like starts climbing over this wall. <laughs> to he's just no, I'm done. Not what I signed up for. It's at, it's time to leave. Oh, uh, you see, one of the Merfolk men kind of takes note of you sooner than I expected, but he said you would come. Welcome. Mm. And down your arms. Huh. I don't think so. I came for the Duchess. I will leave with the Duchess. At all. I don't fail my chief. It's the first time for everything. It's a good day to start. So be it. All right. Uh, there appears there will be no messing around here. You guys make me initiative checks. 16. Well, we already had our great entrance. I'm not going to ruin it now. Very <laughs> dramatic. Business. My initiative was not very dramatic. So you see this, um, the main merfolk who was talking to you guys. He comes in, he kind of shifts over here. And he pulls out uh, his great axe. Because only his men had weapons out, he really didn't yet. Um, he saw no reason. But he pulls out his great axe. And he, uh... He kind of looks around at the lot of you, and he looks at Grio, and he just kind of gives you the bring it on motion. <laughs> like the Bruce Lee thumbing nose. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, you. I will fight you. And he is going to charge at you, William. Yay. <laughs> I appreciate that excitement. Thank you. <laughs> That's a 21. That's hit. Okay. That is 10 damage. Don't um, forget you have a second so one made for a temporary hit points. Yes, you have made a new friend. Uh, Jenna, it's your turn. You're perched up on Chip on top of the wall. I'm going to pat Chip on the head, give him a treat, <laughs> and tell him to stay here unless I call for him. I don't want him getting hurt. We're still just kind of, you know, getting to know each other. And I'm going to use my cunning action, and I think I can hide behind a wall. I'm stealthy. Okay. So I'm going to hide back halfway down or whatever, and I'm going to shoot at the guy with the battle axe. And does 18 hit? That absolutely hits. Oh, oh my goodness. Sweet, sweet mercy. <laughs> <laughs> That that is, uh, 20, and he came at me. That's 22 total damage. He has that enough hit points like for this, fish. I promise. <laughs> We're fine. Wow. Everything <laughs> is <good>. fine. <laughs> but I get for rolling all the ones or got it out of my system. Um, Let's see. So, Jenna, Ben, your turn, sir. Uh, so, I'd like to s circle him. Okay. Over here. Sure. Uh, staying in in range with him, and make a series because I have that ability. Attack, attack, bonus attack. Okay. Oh yeah. Using the uh, using the martial arts. The unarmed strike. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Go for it. That no eight did not. Eighteen. Eighteen will hit. The eight will not. And, and bonus attack. 24. Y'all are going to kill my new friend before I even get a chance at him. <laughs> okay, so he's going to take uh he's going to take 11. 11? Yes. Yeah, uh, you may not be wrong, William. Uh, actually no, it's your turn. No, there you go. <laughs> okay. Just so, in time. They soften him up uh, for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you tell me how many how much damage he's got left? HP. Uh, I mean, I won't give you, I won't give you like an exact number, but he's not looking happy. Okay. He's, well, I won't waste he, my. He stands uh... by his choices. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was, 
I am curious whether I can uh, do it. Can I start my rage and then attack? And then I've also got an action surge where I could attack him again. Could I do that? You could. I will okay. tell you for what it's worth. What it's not worth doing all that. I would not recommend it. If you want to start yeah. your rage so that you have the rage up for dealing with the other ones, go for it. I don't know. Depending on how the first one goes, I don't know that I would waste the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Since he's already. Uh, I'm not going to do the rage yet. Um, I'll check on the. I might do the action surge. But okay. I'll just go ahead and attack with the Mechdesan. Go for it. Absolutely. 20 definitely hits. Okay. So you kind of attune yourself with the spear, and it starts to glow, <laughs> and it, like, it gets, like, it gets serious looking, and you lunge <laughs> out at him and just, oh, yeah, just run him, <laughs> run him down. And he almost looks a little disappointed. He was kind of excited for this. He doesn't get a lot of good fights, and he was looking forward to this one, but it was not to be. Uh, you well, know, he had at least one. You you drop him. <laughs> All right. Um, Do we want to? Uh, actually, I want to try something just for fun, if okay. I can. I don't know if I still can. Sure. Um, I want to use intimidation to get the rest of the merfolk to just run away. Okay. Um, that would require you to use your action surge. Okay, let's do it, just for fun. Okay, you can use your action surge then, and you can do that twice per short, short rest, so you still have one more use of it. Make me an intimidation okay. check. Nope. Nope. Rawr. You looked super oh. cool, but <laughs> you just didn't... They can't. They kind of can't see you, because you're kind of hidden behind yeah. a wall, so they... Yeah. It was a good try, though. That's a good excuse. That's a good excuse. Yeah. I didn't move, so... You're, you're kind of still around the edge, and they just, they just know yep. he's, he's gone, but they don't know why. <laughs> and then you start growling at them, and they're just kind of like, but, okay, sure. Yep. Um, dear Jonathan. Yes, sir. What would Mr. Magic Beard like to do? Yeah, let's mace. <laughs> mace it is. And I think I want to aim it at ah, the face. Let's do that. Okay, sure. <laughs> Strong choice. <laughs> yes, that 15 hits. Um, Perfect. Bada bing. Bada boom. Booking.com. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many people have seen that commercial, so that might not make sense, but that's fine. <laughs> bada book, bada boom. All right. Yeah, you, you squarely hit him right in, right in the jaw. All right. Uh, nice. Daniel. What would, what would uh, Lisa like to do? All right. Well, I am going to move here because that was only 25 feet. Okay. <laughs> I am going to take all three of them. Okay. Very, very <laughs> bold. Use... I'm, I'm intrigued and concerned. <laughs> I'm going to use burning hands, which will get all three of them in a cone of fire. Yes, it will. Nice. <laughs> all right. Burning of fire. Starting to yes, think I picked exactly. the wrong type. <laughs> He's just having a lot of fun. <laughs> the he, wrong he, class. He really is Listen, very much enjoying the thing himself. Is, is they're so <laughs> fragile, though. <laughs> really, I spend all my time at the back, just like shooting things. But like his armor well, class is like twelve. <laughs> it's I mean, fourteen. Yeah, it's it's real bad. His um, armor good. class is high, and they're still hitting pretty well. So. Okay, so... uh, I'm also gonna cast this at second level. And which which one was this? You said burning, uh, burning hands. Burning so, hands. Okay. So I'm going to get at second level. I'm gonna get four d6. So it's half a fireball. Okay, and they make a dex save. Uh, uh fifteen. Uh, they make their save, so they will take half. All right, DC for half. Uh. Okay. So six a piece. Okay. Can you round up or round down. I'll let you. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll go with five each. They they need something out of this. Okay, and 
Would it be possible to use the rest of my move to back up? Uh, yeah, I think you still had at least five feet left, sure. And it's their turn! <laughs> Yay! Like, I ran up, lit them all on fire, and they were all still standing, and uh, <laughs> I've made a mistake. It'll be fine, I promise. Okay, uh, one is going to hit Biggs. That, you will take eight, Mr. Magicbeard. Uh, one is going to come up here... Let's see, uh, Liesel, 10 does not hit you. 15 does not hit Mr. Magic Beard. And 19 does hit you, I think. You take 8, uh, Liesel. All in all, that didn't go that badly. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, being the bucket of hit points that you are, you know. I'll just tank it. I'll tank it. it eight's fine. You're good. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right. Um, uh, Jenna. Yeah, Jenna. Oh, and this guy crawls, crawls the rest of the way over the wall and leaves. There's this guy who's kind of close to me, so I'm going to hide myself once again on this wall. I am one with the wall. Yes, you are. And uh, take out my bow and shoot the back. Oh, yes. 20? Yes, absolutely. Roll that all that damage. Ooh. That was all of it. Yeah, that was 20. Uh, which one were you shooting? <laughs> the the one who's here by the gate closest. That, you shooting me? I think you're actually yeah. That's that's Ben's character, Jenna. Ah yes. <laughs> I can cut I, that. That would never. I would never even hit him. So. The, this is a chance for him to use that uh, throw the arrow. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that that, did, that would have hit. <laughs> Person. The problem is, I think he's. I don't know that he can beat the twenty damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might be able to. That would be close. All right, well, I'm just going to pretend <laughs> it, you just kind of bump it a little bit, and then it flies forward and hits one of the Markhulk. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, will you, or, uh, no, Ben, it's your turn. Yeah. Like that scene in um, Dragon Ball Z where Gohan bounces the spirit bomb. I can't go through them. I'd have to go around them, correct? Uh, where are you trying to get? I, I can run around them anyways. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. You can't I'll just, you can't I'll just run around. Them. Now you will now you like if you were to pass next to them you will take attacks of opportunity. Uh, even though I'm still within like the circle around them. Well, because you're starting over here, so right. it would take more than your movement. Like it would take your full movement to get here, and you would have to pass by them. Okay, because I have forty. Uh, oh right. Oh right. Yeah, uh, I, have a, I have a unarmored. I have a speed of forty. Unarmored movement. Yeah. Right. Uh, no, yeah. you're good. Though. <laughs> I, for, I forgot monk things. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the three unarmed strike again. Okay, go for it. Can I split that up between two of them? Sure. Okay, so let's start at the top and take one to the front. Yes, twenty four definitely hits. Twenty four. Uh, same guy, twenty three. Absolutely. Um, now. I do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it anyways. Uh, so this will be uh, the bonus uh, unarmed strike on the guy underneath. Okay. The, so the guy in the middle of the stack. Right. Twenty-two. And yes. I would like to make spend a key point and make that a stunning strike. Okay. Um, he has to make a Constitution save. Thirteen. Okay. Yes, he makes it. Uh, what does he get when he fails? Or what, what does he get when he makes it? Because I think uh, there's still something. Nope. Uh, he's fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, save, save or stun. Okay. Save or stun, yeah. Okay. Yes, he makes his save. He's good. Okay. William. And you did... Uh, okay. Yeah, got it. William, your turn. All right. I'll move right here and hit the guy in front of me. Okay. Thank goodness. There's a backup. <laughs> that hit i assume it does uh, how much would uh, 19 yes absolutely okay oh uh, this is with your uh when when it does 1d10 instead of 1d6 oh okay that lasts for the oh. entire fight is he still alive if you don't use it uh yes <laughs> okay let me i'll roll that one yeah they're they're still okay it, mr magic beard it is your turn sir I'm going to do... Uh, Does he have advantage at the one between him and me? Yeah. 
Cool, cool, cool. Which everything you would like to hit, roll twice, and you will take the better of those two rolls. Unless you don't want to mace. No, I think I'll mace since I've got advantage. I was uh, thinking about pulling a spiritual weapon, but... Unless he doesn't want to mace. I know, right? Who am I talking to? 20 definitely <laughs> hits. I love macing. I, I just, I don't know, it makes me feel good. It makes my beard grow thicker just knowing <laughs> that I'm able to mace people to the face. Uh, okay, you you connect with him very cleanly, and uh, he drops to one knee. He's not he's not down, but he's in rough shape. And uh, uh, Daniel, yeah, your turn, sir. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to do a different kind of thing because they're here, and why not? I'll um, do I have flanking on anyone because I'm going to use my dagger of Murbane. Um, you have flanking on not the one straight in front of you, but either of the other two. Actually, no, all three of them you would. You're good. Take take um, your, take your pick. I'm going to get the one up top because he has made the most he has damage. So... Okay. Uh, because this is a one that's, that is a plus one to hit and damage. Yes. Only against Merfolk, but yes. Only against Merfolk. Well, fantastic, because this is going to do an actual decent amount. Um, second roll, I got a crit. <laughs> yes, you did. That is a natural 20, so roll that damage, and we will double it. Ooh, okay. Seven. Seven. Doubled is 14. Uh, you pull out the dagger, and it immediately starts glowing. Which you know it does any time it is, it is near a, a, a merfolk. Uh, that dagger Ray, will glow. The Murbane. Yes, Murbane. It will. It is glowing, and you actually see a little bit of fear in his eyes. <laughs> he he he. You think he maybe doesn't recognize it specifically, but he knows what it does. And you just you jab straight at him, and he's gone. Uh, and it is their turn. And wizard, do that. That's right. <laughs> uh, the rest of them. Um, or the go ahead, William. Well, you go first. But if and I see the guy in front of Biggs. Never mind about you going first. By the way. Um. um sort of. Okay. Well, I don't know if you're going to attack or not. But if you do, uh, I'm going to use the pr protection fighting style. So if. Okay. Any sure. of them attack uh, Biggs or Liesel, they have disadvantage. Excellent. If I can see the one guy. Yeah, you, you can, can do that as a reflex. To you, can, you can see the one in front of you and the one in front of Liesel. For the purposes okay. of that, you actually have to be next to him. So okay. you can't do the one in front of the one next to Biggs, but you can do the other two. Uh, but the three of them are okay. actually just going to try and run. <laughs> so I need all four of you that are around them. Uh, so everyone but Jenna to make me attacks of opportunity. Yeah. Uh, so one each, and tell me which of the three you would like to hit. Is that just a d20? Uh, it's just whatever it's your regular, regular attack, attack is. Oh. All right. Um, the one beside me. Sorry, what then? Sorry, the closest one to me. Okay, uh, you drop him. Jonathan got a natural 20. Uh, yes, Jonathan got a natural 20, and Rio, you also hit. And Got him on my left. Uh, Jonathan, you deal like 28 damage. Uh, and William, you deal <laughs> a totally also pretty good 14, and they both just drop. <laughs> Jonathan just like turned that merfolk just into chum like he powder. Just... <laughs> <Outer. laughs> so, so did the there's just like a greasy like, streak like, in the middle of the road. Knock down the 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 other guy who's who's still there too. Like, did he feel the he, aftershocks he of that? He felt it. <laughs> do, by chance, do they speak Aquan? Is that the merfolk language? 
Sure. Okay, and then in Aquan, as they're get, as they're leaving before we actually strike, I'd like to just very very calmly say you chose poorly. <laughs> you chose poorly. Yes. Uh, you see one of them look at you like he understands what you said, and he's a little bit confused by that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so you have failed. Fa- fa- yeah, failed the Merfolk. That's fine. Sure, we'll go with it. Um. And you can see Duchess, Kaya, and her guards all three visibly relax. <laughs> like, the guards just fall over. They're fine, but just, you know, stress. And so, um, it takes her a second, but you, she... Liesel. Oh my goodness. Okay. You have impeccable timing. As soon as we could, Your Majesty. Please. And we have brought reinforcements. Oh, good. Okay. And she kind of looks out. You can see her kind of glance out the gate. Oh, more more elves. Are they from Viltalban? Uh, yes. And uh, the king is also in our party. And he has come here because the capital has fallen to the merfolk. I was afraid. We managed to get the king out in time. You have done an excellent job. Um, uh, she motions to her men who have kind of stabilized themselves. Uh, rally the rest of the guards that you can find. We will retake the city now. Um, I'll put up the signal, milady, and then the of the that like on on like a tall tower. I can use press the digitation to make a sigil. Okay. For an hour. So I'm going to put like the royal crest just like on a tower glowing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make an obscure reference. Have any of you seen the trailers for the Star Wars The Old Republic video game? Not, not, KOTOR, just... not, no, not KOTOR, the MMO. No. Okay, I'll link them in the chat well, later. At the end of one of them, one of the uh, Republic soldiers, you see him fire off a flare to signify that they're okay, and you see just like across the entire planet, flares fire off where they've the Republic's taken other cities and stuff back, and that's exactly what that reminded me of, and that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm rallying the forces. Yes, you are. So as you guys kind of look around, um, you still see some pockets of. The Baron's men fighting, uh, but the Merfolk have kind of locked themselves in place and are pushing them back, pushing them out. The Driven, you just see them pop in and out of different places in the city, just laying out people. Uh, you know, <laughs> rescuing people, pulling people out of buildings. Just, they seem very precise and very focused. Like they, like this is just something like that they. Like the opposite of us. They're like, just like this roiling ball of <laughs> you guys are you guys are learning you're getting there um but it takes a couple of days um okay i tell you what each of you uh all five of you make me an attack roll of whichever attack you would normally do so warhammer whatever it is make me just the attack roll so basically over the next, like, day or two, like, two days, you guys slowly make your way around the city. And you guys all actually did pretty well. Um, ben, you and you and Jonathan, uh, Ujo and, and Biggs, you kind of make your way with some of the driven. And you kind of, it takes you a little bit, but you push a pocket of, of men out of the city. You know, Liesel, you have some of the, the Magi... Uh, the other Magi Elves, you guys retake the Duchess's uh, castle? Sure, castle. Um, Manor? Manor, yes, that's the word I like. Thank you, Manor. You guys retake the Manor. Jenna, you help uh, some of the Elves clear out some part of the shopping district, kind of push them out of there. Grio, you end up with a bunch of the, uh, the city's militia kind of rallied behind you, and you guys kind of work your way around the outside taking out the men that are in the siege emplacements and 
it takes you guys a couple of days, but you have cleared the entire city of Oriel of everyone that had come to oppose it. Yes. And the elves kind of start building up and like, like literally like an hour after you guys clear the city, Velia has his men already rebuilding defensive structures. The, the driven are like physically building a, like an embankment in place of one of the gates. You guys are now refortifying the city and you guys now have a place where you can sort of settle and rebuild and push back out and deal with the variety of new friends you've made um, <laughs> that have come to throw spears at you. Um, but you guys have, have liberated the city of Oriel and now have a foothold. Yeah, it looks like we just kind of like cut a swath through the countryside and then took the city. Yes, and just kind of forcefully push them back out. Jenna. Yes, make, Jenna. May, make me a... Some kind of charisma check. <laughs> I'll let you pick which one. Some kind of persuasion or intimidation or, or something, something check. And also make me a perception check as well. Ah. Okay. Um, well, my persuasion is not my best. Daniel, you do the same. You said perception and persuasion? And persuasion, yes. All right, first is perception. Okay. Persuasion. Okay, so the two of you, because they've kind of rounded up some men... Some of, you know, not all of, of the Baron soldiers have been just dispatched completely. Some of them have been rounded up. So the two of you kind of walk through the area where they're holding them. And you see one who looks like he has some kind of control or command over the men. Um, but you notice a distinct lack of the actual Baron Telex because, you know, in theory, you guys tossed him into a prison cell in the capital. But all of his men are still attacking the city. But you, you found one you think would probably have been one of their new leaders. Oh, and you're all back at full HP after all of that, by the way. I should clarify that. That's important. Yes, it is. Should we try and get some information out of this guy? Like... Um, uh, and like... We'll, we'll use the... You guys already, already made persuasion checks. Um... Mm. He just kind of... You make eye contact with him, Liesl, and he kind of eyes you like... I'm not going to tell you anything, and he just kind of clams up. I tell you what, um, either you guys can make persuasion checks, again, to kind of coerce him, or intimidation checks, or if anybody has, like, spells or abilities that are good for drawing out information. I mean... I can make an intimidation check. And John, that. Jonathan, I think you have a specific spell and or thing. Nobody, <laughs> nobody panic. We're oh, good. I've got a truth that thing, don't I? Yes, you have Part of truth. But I, he doesn't have to answer. Like, is that true? Like, he can just not say anything. Until the spell, a creature that enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there must make a charisma saving throw. On a failed save, the creature can't speak a deliberate lie while in the late radius. You know whether each creature succeeds or fails on its saving throw. Uh, they are aware of the spell and can avoid answering questions. Uh, and they can be evasive yeah. with their answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the zone. So... You sort of, you can use this to force information out of him. You know he won't be able to lie to you, but you still have to get the information out of him. Okay, uh, so... And, William, what was, was that persuasion or intimidation? Intimidation. Okay. Um, All right, so... Talk to Ben's character. Well, you know... Use that, uh, use that uh, in conjunction where I can put the, the truth uh, thing on him and uh, and then uh, Grio can uh, 
Can I ask some questions? Yeah, I, I, I also have an idea. We can do all this at the same time if you want. Yeah, gonna, at least we can ask the question. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to talk to Vince's character. And time ago, I met this monk who had a really great method of persuasion. They yeah. can choose non-lethal damage if they want. We need to aggressively convince him to tell the truth. Thing you could probably I, arrange, if I'm not mistaken. I could. It is a possibility. And I'm saying all this loud enough for the uh, that leader to hear everything I'm saying. Um. Yeah. Uh, and while you're while that's happening, I'm going to create a rumble in the ground uh, underneath them. <laughs> that's not terrifying at all. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of place my hand out and start the ground rumbling. Uh, it's harmless, but it's uh, under effective. The yeah. Something, something aggressive negotiations. And, okay. yeah. uh, so at this point, I will turn to the leader and use action, uh, use a persuasion roll again and say, so, information the easy way or the hard way? Or the rumble rumble in the ground way. Okay. Um, <laughs> so between the rumble rumble and the zone of truth and William's intimidation check and Daniel's persuasion check and the fact that there's a <laughs> giant fish-eating lizard and, you know, just Jenna's claws and stuff in general. Um, <laughs> he kind of... Fine. Yeah, this was kind of inevitable. You took the Baron from us. I assume it was the four or five of you. You look familiar. You took the Baron from us. But that man had instilled something in us that we were not going to give up. So, when we knew the merfolk were coming, we took advantage of the opportunity. We thought we could make Oriel ours. In the name and the honor of the Baron. Has no honor. In treason. We did not take him. He sought to save us. You took our leader away. He trying to save you from that man. And he points he points at the king. He's useless. This is all his fault so useless then you wouldn't be sitting in defeat right now so the king kind of walks over and he looks at him he's you're not wrong son a lot of this is my fault and i will take ownership of of the merfolk and and that mess but baron's decisions were his own and while i appreciate your fervor the man had a poor way of doing things I'm going to give you one chance. Take your men and go home. Go back to your city. When this is sorted out, we will appoint a new leader to Liren, and we will start over. I'm in no mood to deal with you now. And the man you've been intimidating, or, well, I was going to say interrogating, uh, both of those things, interrogating mm -hmm. and intimidating, um, just kind of sneers at him. But you see another one of the soldiers kind of pipe up from the back. And this guy looks um a lot... I'm not going to say a lot less convinced in what, the, in what Baron Tellick stood for, but a lot more willing to start over. He, he has the look of someone who recognizes an opportunity and just doesn't want to die and wants to go back to his family. If he's too he's much probably of a, seen some stuff over the past few days. If he's too much of a fool to take your offer, I'll take them back. We'll start over. The king just kind of nods at him and motions for you guys to let them go, except for the one who was causing problems. Okay. So, you guys have freed a city. That was cool. Huzzah! <laughs> Chip climbed over a wall. 
<laughs> I, I really wish he did not have the ability to do that. I'm, that's going to come back on me later, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll roll with it. We blew up some stuff. You and blew people. up some stuff. Yes, you did. Some people got punched in the face repeatedly. That was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Glow, glowing weapons. Yes, glowing weapons. Several arrows almost got deflected back at people. <laughs> if only they had hit. Yeah, so close, man. So close. <laughs> Somebody's going to have a much bigger bonus next time. <laughs> <laughs> or some kind of special ability or something, because I want to see that happen. I'm not forcing anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but Hands is, on rails. Yeah. But only to the point of Ben getting hit with one arrow so that he can deflect it back and kill somebody with it. <laughs> I just not kill. I just want him to level somebody with, with their own arrow because that just fascinates me. All right, we're anything we're, catch anything catchable. So ooh, that gives me a variety of options. That's anything, not a terrible anything, anything idea that, at all. Anything that you can do. Hand. Yeah, you can do the uh, the scene like from Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. Or I could just have you shoot magic missiles at him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just need something that can mind con that can just take control of Liesel, and then okay, we'll, we'll figure something out. It's fine. All right. Well, Petrichor <laughs> has arrows. Those mind flares. Yeah, that's not. A, that's a terrible idea. All right, we we are going to stop for the evening here, though. You guys have liberated the city, and uh, and you guys have actually you guys have done a lot of stuff here. Like four fights. That was real good. All right, um, Ben. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Uh, Hopefully, again, in the future, you will be back. I, yeah. I, Absolutely. I like our hero on the half shell. Yes. Uh, we, we very much enjoyed <laughs> having you and Ujo this evening. Uh, if you would like to find more of our content, we are on cityonahillgaming.com or City on a Hill Game on Twitter. Uh, and at uh, the group suggestion, we're going to start running polls on Twitter for weird stuff that I may start let happen in the game based on how you guys vote. We'll we'll figure something out. You're going to start start seeing those show up because I like that idea a lot. Thanks for joining us. For more episodes, check out cityonthehillgaming.com, iTunes, or other awesome podcast outlets. To contact us, email us at cityonthehillgaming at gmail.com or find us on Twitter at cityonthehillgame. Thanks.